This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. We don't want it! We don't want it! <laughs> hey, Michiru. Humming a little ditty to yourself? Michiru's crooning nasally to herself. <laughs> That's rude. It's not particularly pleasant to listen to. That's rude! But then again, humming is one of the few forms of musical expression that exists solely for the satisfaction of the performer. Sometimes it's a natural overflowing of happiness in a moment of relaxation, but at other times it's an attempt to calm the nerves of the moment of crushing stress. I don't know which psychological state has given rise to Michiru's song, but I do know how I can subtly manipulate her mood. Oh no. <laughs> I sneak up behind Michiru and softly synchronize my voice with her song. And now I begin to gradually alter the melody, keeping every individual change small enough that she won't catch on. what? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? <laughs> Why? What is the purpose of this? Um, Marty, all of the people's school uniforms are half black, half uh, blue. Mitra spins around flustered. Her face reveals sheer, uncomprehending bewilderment. By slowly changing my upbeat melody into a grim funeral march, oh, that's what he was doing, I guided her own soul and down the same dark path. But my victim clearly doesn't realize this was my doing. I didn't realize that either. Yo, something the matter? Why would you do that? Like, what purpose is there to be like, this person's in a really good mood. Let's change that. Let's fix that with a controlled shock. <laughs> and just be like, I'm going to subtly change her mood so she's depressed instead. Like, what kind of a person would do that? <laughs> Oh, brother. Oh, that's a pity. Anything? Who? Me? Like what? Despite its inherently subtle nature, subliminal manipulation of this sort can drastically inf influence human behavior through its effects on the subconscious. For example, I could persistently hold eye contact with Michiru as we speak, this can be mildly intimidating in its own right, but the effect increases significantly when I wait for her to blink before doing the same. By quickly opening my eyelids before her, Michiru would soon be under the illusion that I never blink. What's more, it's very rare for anyone to consciously notice this is taking place. Instead, a nagging sense of unease grows in the back of their mind. Why is this guy like, yeah, <laughs> it's fun to have psychologically manipulate other people into being, like, creeped out. This is... <laughs> what is wrong with Yuji? Use enough of these tricks and outright psychological manipulation is possible, but this time the humming game proved sufficient for my objective of screwing of Michiru. Wow, you rude. Yeah, sorry about that. You really have to be more specific. What are you accusing me of? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot wrong with Yuji. What's up, Goris? Michiru jabs her forefinger in my direction, her eyes smoldering with aggression. Why get so bent out of shape over something like this? True, but that's not a good thing. You know, someone once said that relationships are like a mirror. Yes, that's how mirrors usually work. Your approach seems to involve repeatedly bashing your head against the glass, looking to go, or planning to go, uh, looking glass land. I butchered that. Planning to go to looking glass land. Just so you know, Humpty Dumpty's currently sitting in a carton in my fridge. Wow, these references though. All right, I'll give you the short version. Michiru, you tend to treat others with all of the friendliness and charm of a lollipop sucking brat who's just been denied a new toy. Wow. People are so rude. <laughs> I mean, you could act like less of a tsundere and that would be great. Although that face is still amazing. Hmm, I suppose not. 
方ないのよあんまりそういうこと言うとローリングソバットするわよミチュー・シャドーボックスは私の general direction while making little kapow sounds。Seems she has no idea what a rolling s o b a t actually is。I don't know what that is、so、she's not alone。Oh, hi, Makina. I'd rather she drop the Sundari、uh, facade. <laughs> you could have worded that a better way. Hmm, training, is it? What do you have in mind? Makina, my friend, you seem to have equated numerical multiplication with sticking people together. Are you sure the same rules apply? We don't want someone to die. Specifically, we don't want Michiru to die. Are you planning on literally tying them together with each other with rope or what? Might prove a little tricky. I suppose gluing them together with <laughs> phenolic resin is also an option. No! Do not do that. Although I don't think Makina is physically capable of knocking her out. Makina swiftly circles behind Michiru and delivers a sharp karate chop to the back of her neck. Wow! Wow! This. This poor girl! I do not like the abuse that Michiru is taking. That's because it's TV. It's not reality. Spoiler alert, even reality TV is not reality. Do you really think those crayon sharpeners on House Hunters can afford a three million dollar vacation home? They can't. <laughs> Punch your back, Michiru! I can't punch Makina. That would not be looking good. But you can fight back. <laughs> Michiru, I'm growing curious about this Yao Chi you keep mentioning. Friend of yours. She's saying Yao Chi. <laughs> Again, I, a dude, cannot beat up an eight year old girl without coming off as an incredible boy. You can, though. You can retaliate. <laughs> Mitru, are you seriously falling for this again? Jeez. Oof. Mitru, just sock her in the face. Like, seriously. Ugh. Stop saying TV like that. That's pure fiction. You're not going to knock anyone out that way unless you get the angle absolutely perfect. Even then, misjudge the force and you can end up doing irreversible damage. It's not something you should try at home. Good! <laughs> well, I guess I could have been quicker about telling you myself. Well, I'm sure you've heard that a blow to the abdomen can be particularly effective, but. Stop it! Mitru is gonna cough up blood. Like, what the heck? But as I said, you shouldn't attack someone's vital points for no good reason. You're running the risk of causing lasting harm. Can we take Michiru to the nurse's office? Oh, wait, there's no nurse or anybody there. I don't know, maybe because she just got punched in the stomach. 
Now, now, Machina, it's not as though Michiru intentionally drained all the color from her face. She's simply experiencing temporary breathing problems as the result of a sharp impact to her abdomen. Don't you have something to say to her? <laughs> that probably knocked the breath out of her. I think she's trying to tell us something. As she isn't currently capable of speech, we should read her lips. Oh, no. <laughs> That's honestly probably accurate. Even under violent torture, the Hursundere's spirit remains unbroken. You must admit, the girl has guts. I think she kind of was. Well, you know, Makina, if you want Michiru to be more pleasant to be around, maybe take the plank out of your own eye first. Oh yeah, I forgot, Sachi does wear a school uniform. No, don't ask her for help! <laughs> Sachi's like, leave this to me, pulls out a sledgehammer. No, Sachi, don't do it! Unfortunately, we do mind. Come on, Makina, you're giving her a, you've given her a pretty good beating already. I hardly think there's any need to render her unconscious, is there? No! How did we get to this point? Makina, you need to, like, take 12 chill pills. No, Sachi, don't do it. And we're just gonna sit around and watch it happen, aren't we? Sachi looks kind of terrifying right now. So you can't use the sledgehammer, that will probably kill her. Sachi stares fixedly at Michiru, apparently puzzling over the best way to make her faint, and you're not doing anything to try to stop him. Yuchi, you suck. Of course, Sachi's defining characteristic is her willingness to use any means necessary to achieve her ends, as Michiru is well aware. Nope! <laughs> Run, Michiru. Run. Wow, when they said that the school was filled with deranged people, they weren't kidding. Or that can happen. Michiru lies collapsed on the floor, her nose twitching in terror. Seems she took it upon herself to lose consciousness before someone violently took it from her. A prudent choice for the, from the perspective of damage minimization. Sachi, Michiru has kindly rendered herself unconscious for us, so I think the crowbar S tool is no longer necessary. I thought Sachi was going to be... No worries, I'll go get the chloroform. Crowbar is worse. Before you go, I've got a quick question. When you said crowbar-esque, what were you thinking of specifically? Well, that, that gives you more points in Scrabble. Sachi's low-key kind of terrifying. I see, a crowbar is certainly crowbar-esque. I'm not satisfied either! People here are crazy! Yumiko was violent less times than Sachi by now. Potentially, but Yumiko was literally trying to murder us. Sachi wasn't actually trying to murder anyone, she was just trying to knock them unconscious, which is still bad. Alright, what do we do with Michiru now that she's unconscious? Nope, this is all kinds of wrong. Thank you. 
watch Yumiko show up and be like, why are you tying up an unconscious Michiru? And at that point, the, the box cutter will be justified. <laughs> Well, thank goodness for small favors, eh? That girl's ready for anything. Have to admit, I didn't expect her to have specialty BDSM ropes flying around. Well, well, this is pretty nice work. Rope bondage over the clothes has its own refined flavor. And you've got quite a respectable tortoise shell pattern over the bust here. Wow. So, can we have a teacher just, like, put a stop to this? Like, seriously, how is this allowed? You produced this fine piece of work without even realizing you were doing it? You must have seen the pattern somewhere. Either way, I think you have a definite talent for this. Might be a potential career path. No, I don't want Makina joining the Yakuza and kidnapping people. <laughs> I get that reference, Nick. Makina runs off somewhere, leaving me alone in the hallway with Michiru, who's tightly bound from head to foot in an intricately crisscrossed web of ju jute ropes. Come to think of it, I thought tying her to Sakaki was the whole point. That is the face that is appropriate. What's up, Tortoise? I thought you were supposed to be unconscious at the moment. I'd be freaking out a whole lot more than that. Oh look, now Iko is playing Ultimate Chicken Horse. Yeah, I guess it would be. I don't think many students would have the guts to engage in tortoise shell style rope bondage in the hallways of their own school. You sure about that? Once Makina gets back, she'll just call Sachi again. That seems problematic in its own way. Yeah, this is so wrong. Hmm. So you'd like me to untie you after all? Oh, you're being awfully polite and straightforward about your feelings. <sighs> Ah, humankind's lot is a sad one. Our lives are full of paradoxes. <laughs> Yumiko has the exact face that she should have right now. <laughs> Yumiko, please pull out the box cutter. No! We tied her up! Oh, 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 my gosh. If I saw someone tied up in the hallway and someone standing over them, I would immediately assume the person standing over them tied them up. This is like if someone reports a dead body in Among Us and everyone's like, oh, the dead body did it. It's like, no. Nope. This happens to be Makina's work. Seems she's something of an expert. Yeah, after tormenting Michiru's body at length, Makina gave her a few final blows, then finished things off by tying her up nice and tight. Yumiko, I think you're going about this completely the wrong way. I think you should be thinking, why are you trying to kidnap her? How is that misleading? She literally punched her in the stomach! How's it going, Collins? Apparently, there are no faculty members in this school at all. Sakaki's got a point. I have to agree. You know what? I'm beginning to think that Mitra is the best character in this. Like, the most likable. I can't believe... Like, the amount of abuse she's undergoing is ridiculous.
Most people, when they hear that, would assume it was physical violence, I would think. This is so bad. Congratulations, Makana. You flipped her psychological switch. At long last, the true Michiru has broken free of her Sundere shell. Here's the thing, though. Michiru, I'm considering to be either best or second best. Not really because she's amazing, but just because everyone else is such utter trash. <laughs> they're so bad. <laughs> and they're abusing her for very little reason. You probably left too much slack in those ropes. Next time, tighten them up until you even done nice deep marks on her wrists, alright? What the heck? Everyone is a psychopath! I'm not reading that. Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Guys, I'm beginning to think that Yumiko and Michiru are the only semi-normal characters in this. And I can't believe it. And thus, Makina demonstrated a brief, brief glimpse of her hidden potential as a BDSM artist. But after Michiru's vigorous scolding, she would never again put that ability to use. Good. I watched the promising glimmer of a rising talent slowly, quietly fade away, never to realize its true potential. But couldn't really bring myself to care. The end. Michiru, I'd be a whole lot angrier than you are right now. <laughs> hmm? Weren't you off trying to clear your name of Sakaki? <laughs> Was I off base? You are planning to scold Makina, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Hmm. But then again, didn't it feel really good when she finally untied the ropes? What the heck? That's like, oh man, remember when we were beating the crap out of you, but didn't it feel so good when we stopped? It's like, yes, because you were you were beating me up. That doesn't mean I like being beaten up. Like, what? <sighs> really? All that stagnant blood laboring to circulate through your body under the pressure of the ropes suddenly surged freely through your veins. I think that must have produced at least a light euphoria as a physiological phenomenon. I myself once experienced a wave of indescribable pleasure from just loosening the belts on my arms after a pressure training session. Hmm. Hmm? I didn't say you were. You're overthinking this. You, bro, you are so weird. I don't like where this conversation is. I see, so you're a sadist. What a hopelessly confused individual. Can't even figure out her own sexual preferences. 